So the Tampa Bay Times has identified nearly 200 stand your ground cases in the state of Florida, I believe it is, and their outcomes. They come from media reports, court documents, and interviews with prosecutors and defense attorneys. Impossible to get really good data on this. They don't, uh, cops and prosecutors don't necessarily keep um, very specific records when they decide uh, not to prosecute. And nobody keeps track of how many stand your ground motions have been filed, but here's a couple of the findings. Those who invoke stand your ground to avoid prosecution, 70% of the time they go free. 70% of the time. Keep that in mind. If you're in Florida, man, that RNC convention could be very ugly. Defendants claiming, now understand too, of course, um, if you uh, stand your ground on the basis of the First Amendment, yeah, not the same rights. Defendants claiming stand your ground are more likely to prevail if the victim is black. Who knew? Seventy-three percent of those killed, uh, of those who killed a black person, faced no penalty compared to fifty-nine percent of those who killed a white. I'm sure that's just a coincidence. The number of cases is increasing, largely because defense attorneys apparently are using the defense more often, and they're using it in ways, of course, that the uh, the idiots who passed this law never envisioned. Defense has been invoked in dozens of cases with minor or no injuries. It's also been used by a self-described vampire. In Pinellas County, a Miami man arrested with a single marijuana cig cigarette, a Fort Myers homeowner who shot a bear, and a West Palm Beach jogger who beat a Jack Russell Terrier. And apparently, depending on who decided their cases depending on the, uh, whether it's a judge or a jury. Some drug dealers claiming self-defense have gone to prison while others have been set free. So there it is, folks. Brought to you by Alec. Stand your ground. Maybe coming to a state near you, particularly if you live in the South. 